Okay, all right. And hello, everyone. Welcome to our English lesson today. Yes, today uh, we are going to uh, have a general idea about the adverbs and adjectives. Yes, uh, in general, we know that uh, adjectives define, describe, and modify nouns, but adverbs uh, adverbs uh, define and describe and modify uh, verbs. But today, let's start with uh, let's start with uh, examples that uh, adverbs also modify adjectives. Yes. How? Let me share my presentation. and see uh, what they are and how they uh, modify how they modify adjectives yes you know this in fact but let's remember it uh, completely totally entirely okay all right anyway let's uh, jump in our subject but uh, of course it i think it will be useful to uh, summarize to review they used to be used to and get used to which are the uh, subject which are which uh, which are the subject of the previous video in one page okay yes used to uh, let's focus on this paragraph, like sentences. Okay. Okay, the situation is this. The meeting starts in an hour. Mary is about to cook the meal. Okay. She is cooking green beans for the attendees today. She is cooking here means she is going to. She is going to cook green beans for the attendees. She used to cook green beans with meat but today she will cook them with olive oil okay she will change her habit she used to cook green beans with meat in the past or as a habit but today she will change her habit and she will cook them with olive oil not with meat she was used to Cooking green beans with meat as a habit. Yes, she was used to. Okay. Uh, cooking green beans with meat, but she will get used to. She will get used to cooking them with olive oil for sure. Okay. She will get accustomed to. She will get used to. And with time, she will be familiar with cooking green beans with olive oil. Yes, this is the summary of the previous video. Okay, yes. Uh, it is a nice and comic uh, uh, gif about Pinocchio. Yes, what does Pinocchio say? He says, I'll never lie again. I'll never lie again. Honest. I am honest. I won't. Yes. I am sincere. I am honest. I won't tell lie. Uh, I won't tell lie again. Okay. Now, lie means, it, lie is both verb and noun. Give false information intentionally, deliberately. Okay. A statement intended to deceive even if literally, completely true or half true. Now let's remember Pinocchio today. Yes. Pinocchio is a story character, as you know. Pinocchio is a story character. Uh, his nose grows or his nose becomes longer while he is lying or uh, while he is telling a lie. Okay. Actually, he can be a truthful, he can be a truthful boy. 
because he dislikes lies. Yes. And as you see in the gift, he promises, Pinocchio promises that he will never lie. He will never, never tell a lie again. Okay. Now, when Pinocchio lies, his nose grows. Yes. What does Pinocchio, what does Pinocchio say? Pinocchio says that he will tell a lie and also says that his nose will grow because of that lie. Yes. And in the first image, my nose will grow now. So after he has told, after he has told a lie in the second uh, picture, you see that his nose has grown. Okay, has grown. Yes, and we will also from now on, uh, we will seriously review and summarize all the past tenses, uh, present tenses and future tenses uh, shortly and uh, to, to get uh, ready, to be ready for the passive voice. Let me remind it once again. Okay. Now, number one, what happened before this situation? What happened in the past, in the story or Let's think about the story. What happened in the story? Pinocchio told a lie. Okay? Tell, told, told. Simple past tense. Pinocchio told a lie. Number two, his nose got longer. His nose became longer. Okay. This is the fact. Trip six. The, uh, the past perfect tense is used talk about a past action which happened before another past action. Now, our basic topic today is past, the past perfect tense. And in the second half of the presentation, we will study the past perfect continuous tense. Past perfect continuous tense. But first of all, let's uh, acquire, let's become familiar with past perfect tense. What is it? What is it? It is this. Uh, there were two completed actions, okay? There were two completed actions. The former action is, uh, is expressed with the past perfect. The latter one is expressed with the simple past, okay? So uh, the structure is this. The after subject, had or hadn't, and verb. Three is important, okay? Verb three. And then, of course, object complement. Now, uh, first of all, uh, in the, as a first, as, as the formal action, as the formal action, Pinocchio told a lie, okay? And uh, the latter action is this, his nose got longer. Now, it's time to use past perfect tense in one sentence, okay? With a conjunction after. After Pinocchio had told a lie, his nose got longer, or his nose grew longer. Yes, you see, the past perfect tense is this. After Pinocchio had told a lie, his nose got longer. Yes, tell, told, told. Get, got, gotten. Grow, grew, grow. Okay, now let's remember the situation again. What happened after Pinocchio had told a lie? What happened as the former action? Uh, as the latter action, sorry. As the former action, Pinocchio had told a lie. Okay, what happened after Pinocchio had told a lie? His nose grew longer after Pinocchio had told a lie, or after Pinocchio had told a lie, his nose grew longer. When did Pinocchio's nose grow longer? When did Pinocchio's nose grow longer? 
Pinocchio's nose grew longer after he had lied or after he had told a lie. Do you see both the simple past tense and past perfect tense and the difference between them? Now, well, as I said before, uh, this is, uh, we really need a chained practice, okay? A chain. Yeah, we should learn English uh, in a chain, okay? Uh, one after the other, from simple to the complex, okay? Before past perfect and past perfect continues, let's just remember all past present future sentences okay it doesn't mean let's uh, let's study them let's learn them but let's just remember okay we have already learned some of them and we will we will learn uh, some of them from now on okay in this harmony too we will finish them for example as the present tenses, we have learned all the three of them, but we haven't learned the present perfect continues yet. The present tenses, as you know, there are four uh, tenses in present, in past, and in future, consequently. Okay? Yes. For example, let's see the first four sentences in present tenses. The first one is simple present. For example, Mary looks green. Mary looks green beans with uh, cooks, sorry. Mary cooks green beans with olive oil. Yes. Mary cooks green beans with olive oil. Two, she is cooking green beans now. Okay. She has started and she is cooking green beans now. What is she doing now? Is she playing volleyball? No, no, she isn't. Is she walking? Is she talking? Is she writing something? No, no. What is she doing? She is cooking green beans now. We just want to learn what she is doing now. She is cooking green beans now. Now, tense three. The, she has just cooked green beans. Okay, present perfect. It has finished, but it has a connection with the present. Uh, that's why we call it the present perfect tense, okay? She has just cooked green beans, and the green, beer, the green beans meal is hot, okay? Because we expressed it with present perfect tense. She has just cooked green beans. What about the fourth one? We will study them in the following uh, videos. It is this. Present perfect continuous, okay? There is both completion and continuity, both of them, okay? She has been cooking green beans for half an hour, okay? She has been cooking green beans half an hour. The uh, continuity is important here. The permanency is important, yes. She has been cooking green beans for half an hour since nine o'clock, for example. Okay. Uh, Mary puts olive oil on the green beans after she has cooked them. This is her habit, okay? She always puts olive oil on the green beans after she has cooked them. Mary puts olive oil on the green beans after she cooks them is also possible. Yeah, this is also possible. But I think I prefer present perfect tense because it has the completion. Uh, finish after he after he finishes cooking, uh, she puts olive oil on the green beans. Mary will, may, can put olive oil on the green beans after she has cooked them. This is speculation. We are not sure about what she what she will do. She she will uh, put olive oil, or she may put she may not put, or she may put olive oil on the green beans after she has cooked them. Mary will put olive oil on the green beans after she cooks them. This is also speculation. Yes. Okay, 
and we will uh, we will uh, study that kind of uh, details in the future as well. Okay, now let's focus on the past, the four past tenses. After the four present tenses, let's focus on the past four tenses. And after past tenses, we will focus on the four future tenses. Okay, the past tenses. Number one, Mary cooked green beans with olive oil yesterday. Okay. Yes, yeah, simple past tense. The simple past tense. Mary cooked green beans with olive oil yesterday. Sorry, we, we were going to study not past perfect tense, but uh, adverbs and adjectives, but uh, I opened the uh, past perfect tense. Presentation. Okay, after this, we can start studying. We can start studying the adverbs. Okay, let me finish this now. Okay. Yes, the, the past tense, uh, simple past tense, Mary cooked green beans with olive oil yesterday. Two, number two, uh, she was cooking green beans two hours ago. Okay. So we just want to learn what, uh, what, she was doing two hours ago. Okay, we just want uh, we want to learn the action, the continuous action. What was she doing two hours ago? She was cooking green beans two hours ago. Okay, or she was cooking green beans when the doorbell rang. Okay, this is past continuous tense. Three, she had cooked green beans before she cooked the rice. Yeah. She had cooked green beans. Do you remember the, the past perfect tense? We will focus on this tense today. She had cooked green beans before she cooked the rice. Okay. So first she cooked green beans, then she cooked the rice. So uh, she had cooked green beans before she cooked the rice or after she had cooked green beans, she cooked the rice. The last one, number four, the uh, past perfect continuous tense. In this video, we are going to study this too. She had been cooking green beans for half an hour. Yes, she had been cooking green beans for half an hour. When the doorbell rang, for example, she had been cooking green beans. What was what had she been doing? She had been cooking green beans. Uh, for half an hour when the doorbell rang. Yes, before that point of time, she had been cooking green beans. Now let's focus on the four future tenses. The simple future tense is like this. You know this. We studied it uh, with simple models. Okay. For example, uh, number one, the simple future tense with will. Mary will cook green beans with me tomorrow. Okay, so we can also make it with can, and the structure is the same. Verb one, cook. It doesn't become cooking. It doesn't become cooks, etc. Cooked, etc., etc. Cook remains the same. Mary must cook green beans. Mary may cook green beans, etc., etc. Mary will cook green beans with me tomorrow. Yes. Number two, we haven't studied these three future tenses, okay? But we will soon, uh, we will soon uh, study them. Number two, she will be cooking green beans at nine. Yes, continuous. Do you see the continuous form here? She will be cooking green beans at nine o'clock tonight or tomorrow. She is cooking. She was cooking and she will be cooking. She will be cooking green beans at nine. She will be cooking green beans when the school bus comes, for example. Okay. She will have, uh, she will be cooking uh, green beans. Yes, green beans. When the school bus comes. Okay. Three, number three. Future perfect. 
she will have cooked green beans before uh, she cooks rice tomorrow, okay? She will have cooked green beans before she cooks rice tomorrow. She will have been cooking green beans for half an hour by 10. So future perfect continuous tense. She will have been cooking green beans for half an hour by 10. Okay, let's go ahead. Now dialogue one. Let's focus on past uh, the past perfect tense, okay? After the man had blown the flute, okay? Had blown, this is the flute. After the man had blown the flute, a snake came out of the basket. A snake came out of the basket. What happened after Pinocchio had told a lie? After Pinocchio had told a lie, his nose grew longer. Two, Turan had lived in Adana, okay? Turan had lived in Adana before he moved to Ankara. Where had, where had Jahid lived before he moved to Ankara? Jahid had lived in Kayseri before he moved to Adana. What about you? I had lived, I had lived in Eskişehir before I moved to Istanbul, for example. Dialogue three. Yes, we are studying, now we are practicing the past perfect tense, especially the past perfect tense. Of course, there is, there must be the simple past tense, like this, for example. A, Erdem's car didn't start. Why didn't it start? Simple past tense. Erdem's car didn't start because its battery had finished, okay, before uh, that moment. Its battery had finished. This is past perfect tense. Why didn't Murat's car start? Murat's car started because uh, its battery hadn't finished. Okay. It didn't start because its petrol had finished, for example. It didn't start because it had run out of petrol. Run out of as an idiom means finished. Okay. Run out of petrol. Okay. Now, after before are really important uh, to understand uh, the usage of uh, the past perfect tense. Okay. Sami answered the questions after he had eaten his lunch. Okay. Sam answered the question after he had eaten his lunch. He didn't answer the question before he ate his lunch. This means this. He hadn't answered the questions before he ate his lunch. So he answered the questions after he had eaten his lunch. Now with until or till, Sami didn't answer the questions until he had eaten his lunch. When did he answer the questions? He answered the questions after he had eaten his lunch with a full stomach. Dialogue five, we had seen, we had seen, seen what and before what? Yeah. We had seen dark clothes before it rained. Hmm. When we see, when we saw, sorry, when we saw the dark clothes, it didn't rain. It wasn't raining. But uh, after we had seen dark clothes, it started to rain. It rained. We had seen dark clothes before it rained. What else had we seen before it rained? We had seen birds. We had seen flashes. We had seen lightning flashes. We had seen a flock of birds. Yes. Dialogue six. After they had worn, after they had worn the masks, they entered the building. Had they worn gas masks, masks or oxygen oxygen masks uh, before they entered the room? They had worn. They had worn. Uh, oxygen masks uh, 
uh, oxygen masks before they entered the room. Where war war. They had worn, okay? They had worn oxygen masks before they entered the room. Dialogue seven, before they entered the room, okay? Before they entered the building, they had worn. What had they done? They had pre uh, they they uh, they took precautions. Okay, so as precaution as a precaution, they had worn. They had worn the masks. What else had they done before they entered the building? They had uh, they had uh, telephoned. They had uh, telephoned uh, or they had. Uh, telephoned uh, their uh, chiefs. Okay. What did they do after they uh, had entered the building? After they had entered the building, they uh, evacuated, for example, they evacuated the residents. Okay. Okay. Eight, dialogue eight. The famous actor had already taken judo courses by the time he started playing in that big project. Yes, the famous actor had already taken judo courses by the time or when, when he started playing in that big project. What else had he done? What else had the famous actor done uh, by the time or before? before he started playing in that big project, in that big film, movie. So uh, he had uh, he had already, he had learned English. He had learned English by the time he started playing in that big project. Let's see the other example sentences. For example, this is also a situation, the teacher started the lesson after he had drunk tea, okay? First, the teacher drank tea, and then he started the lesson. So, after the teacher had drunk tea, he started the lesson. The teacher had drunk tea before he started the lesson. Because he never starts lesson without drinking tea. This is his habit. Yes, and drinking tea uh, is not a luxury uh, for teachers. It is not luxurious for teachers. It is a necessity for teachers, especially English teachers. Okay, nine, dialogue nine. I had just read the critics about the film by the time or when I went to see it. What had you done about the film when you went to see it? I had seen the fraction of the film, okay? I had seen the fraction of the film by the time I went to see it. So I had uh, read the book. I had read, I had read the book of that film by the time I went to see it. Dialogue. Uh, dialogue 10, uh, they had confided the key to, or they had given the key to Emre before they went on holiday. What else had they done? They had canceled. They had canceled the newspaper subscription, for example. They had canceled the uh, newspaper subscription uh, before they went on holiday or they postponed they postponed the newspaper subscription before they went on holiday okay okay all right let's go on dialogue 11 Okay, yes, uh, 11, by the time or when we arrived at the hall, the big concert had finished. What had happened by the time you arrived there? 
by the time we arrived there, uh, everybody had left the home. Okay. So I look 12, as soon as my father had come home, yeah, as soon as my father had come home, I told him that I had used his bicycle without his permission. What did you tell your father? I told my father that I had bought uh, two books. For when his mother telephoned yesterday, William had already bought the tickets. What had Sophia done when her mother telephoned yesterday? Sophia had uh, written, Sophia, Sophia had written her thesis when her mother telephoned yesterday. Something like this, the thousands of sentences you may uh, make. Sophia had, uh, Sophia had uh, found, had found her wallet when her mother telephoned yesterday. Yes, dialogue 14. Elif Hanım didn't leave the station until Alper and Bader had left the station. So we understand that after Alper and Bader had left the station, Elif Hanım uh, left the station. Okay. Who left the station earlier? So Alper and Bader left the station earlier because Elif Hanım didn't leave the uh, station until Alper and Bader had left the station. Alper and Bader left the station and then Elif Hanım left the station. So who left the station earlier? Alper and Bader left the station earlier. Formerly. Yes, formerly. Previously, Alper and Bader uh, had left the station and then Elif Hanım left the station. Okay. 15 uh, A. I had watched, yes, I had watched Speed Trap. I had watched Speed Trap before Matrix. Before I watched Matrix. Okay. Which film of that actor had you watched before Matrix? For example, you can say, I had watched, I had watched uh, Hunter. Uh, I had watched Hunter before I watched Matrix. Okay. Dialogue 16a. The bright light didn't give harm to Gary's eyes. The bright light the bright light didn't give harm to Gary's eye. Why? The bright light didn't give harm to Gary's eye. Because he had worn, he had worn his security glasses. Why did the bright light give harm to Jason's eyes? Because Jason hadn't worn, hadn't worn uh, security glasses. 17a. Julie had prepared the dinner by the time the guests arrived. Why did Julie cook dinner? Julie had prepared dinner by the time the guests arrived. Why did Julie cook dinner? J Julie, Julie cooked dinner because he had invited before, okay? Before that moment he had invited the guests okay by the time means we can use by the time or when or before after till as soon as and because closes yes we can use them as and we need them as connectors we need those connectors 18 when emre entered the room he noticed that a new television had been brought in yes entering and noticing and bringing something yes what had happened to the old television uh, they had sold okay they had sold the old television before they bought the new television okay 
19a, after they had left the house, after they had left the house, what did they do then? Yes, after they had left the house, they called a taxi. What happened after they had gotten the taxi? After they had gotten the taxi, they recognized that the taxi driver was their teacher. Okay. Yes, these are, uh, this is also a nice summary or a, a, a detail about the past perfect tense. Okay, the past perfect tense, uh, 20, dialogue 20. Why didn't your car start? Why didn't your car start? Uh, the car, my car, didn't start because its battery had finished, had gone. When did it happen? It happened 10 years ago. Where did it happen? It happened in front of the car gallery. How did you deal with the situation? I telephoned the mechanic and he came, he fixed it. Okay, how much did it cost? It uh, cost me $10. Okay. So we use the uh, past perfect as once and we explain it uh, with a few or more than one simple past tense sentences. Okay. Yes. And the expressions of the past perfect tense uh, we need for after, before, just, already yet, never, for, since, by, by the time, when, as soon as, yes, till, until, we need those expressions in past perfect tense, as you see, or as you have seen so far. Okay, uh, let's stop here for now, and uh, after this video, uh, we will study uh, we will study the past perfect continuous tense. Okay. So, uh, okay, bye for now and see you next time. Okay, all right. And hello, everybody, and welcome again. So, uh, I have to say that uh, we have to uh, know uh, the tenses, all the tenses clearly and surely. Uh, why? Why do we have to know them? Uh, why have to be uh, sure about them? Uh, because uh, we can understand the passive voice of all tenses and models uh, better if we. Uh, now, if we learn the all the past, present, and future tenses very well, we can learn uh, the passive voice uh, easily, more easily. Okay. Now let's uh, focus on past uh, the past perfect continuous tense after uh, after having studied. Uh, the past perfect tense. Now it's time to study the past perfect continuous tense. Yes, the past perfect continuous tense. Okay, let's see uh, what uh, is important in past perfect continuous tense. And first of all, in the first place, we understand or we feel that the uh, continuity of the event is important. Okay, the uh, continuation, continuation of the event or continuity of the event is important. Yes, I must say it first. I have to say it first. Okay, now let's take a dialogue. Let's take a look at the dialogue. Uh, A says, what had he been doing when you saw him? See, saw, seen. When you saw him, what had he been doing? He had been writing a poem. Yes, he had been writing a poem. 
when I saw him. Okay, the past perfect continuous tense is used to express, to tell, yes, A and B. A, an action to express an action which was continuing over a period up to a specific time in the past. B, to express an action which was in progress before or up to the time of another past action. The continuity of the first action is emphasized in this tense. Okay. Yes, the con continuity is important. Continuation is important. Like this, for example. Uh, after subject, had been or hadn't been in negative sentence. And verb ing, okay? So we, uh, we learned that, we have learned that Verb ing comes after ends are, was were, and been. So, uh, as we cannot use uh, been alone, we use it with have been or had been or hadn't been. Okay, had been, verb ing, and object complement. For example, Ahmed had been writing a poem. Okay, Ahmed had been writing a poem for an hour when Serdar saw him. Is it clear? Yes. Ahmed had been writing a poem for an hour when Serdar saw him. What was Ahmed doing? He was writing a poem. If we, wa if we just want to learn the action, we use past continuous tense. He was writing a poem. But if we want to learn, if you want to give the message of Con uh, continuation, we use past perfect continuous tense. Okay. After Ahmed had been writing a poem for an hour, is important here, yes, for an hour, when Serdar saw him. Or when Serdar saw him, Ahmed had been writing a poem for an hour. Okay. Now, attention, please. Clara was cleaning the window. When I opened it. So here in, in past continuous tense, just the action is important. Was she writing something? Was she eating something? Was she drinking something? Was she speaking? Was she cleaning? Yes, we just want the, that uh, continuous action in the past. Okay. So what was she doing? What was Clara doing when you opened the window? Clara was cleaning the window when I opened it. Oh, it's clear now. I have learned the action. Okay. Uh, so this sentence tell us what Clara was doing. Okay. Was she reading, writing, singing, cleaning, or something else, but not the continuity and the period. Okay. But here, Clara had been cleaning the window Clara had been cleaning the window when I opened it. So one, this sentence wants to tell us the duration, progress, con continuity, period. How long she had been doing something. This is important. So uh, Clara had been cleaning the window for two hours since nine o'clock. And it is 11 o'clock now. So Clara had been cleaning the window for two hours when I opened it, when I opened the window. Maybe she had been cleaning it for an hour or for 40 minutes or since two o'clock, etc., etc. This part is important in past perfect continuous tense. For example, 22A. When I saw the cat, it had been staring at looking at, staring at a bird for 10 minutes. When I saw the cat, it had been staring at a bird for 10 minutes. What had the kid been doing for three hours when he saw him or her? Uh, the kid had been selling, had been selling vegetables for three hours when I saw him. 23. 
Jafer had been playing tennis. Jafer had been playing tennis since the morning when it started to rain yesterday. Who had been pruning the trees when it started to rain yesterday? Uh, Jamal Bey had been pruning the trees, the fruit trees, when it started to rain yesterday. Until an event in the past. Until a point of time in the past, when it started to rain. He had been pruning the trees. He had been cutting the uh, branches, some branches of the tree. Okay, 24A. Nejla was tired yesterday. Why? Why she, was she tired yesterday? She was tired because she had been planting new trees all day. Why was Burju tired yesterday? Burju was tired yesterday because she had been mentoring the children for three hours. That's why he was tired. He had been because he had been mentoring Moderate, uh, moderate uh, being the moderator of, had been uh, the moderator, the mediator, or the mentor of the children for three uh, for three hours yesterday. Or he had he had been mentoring as a verb, or he had been a mentor mentor of the children uh, for three hours yesterday. Okay, 25A, I had been saving up for three years and a month before I bought my bicycle yesterday. So yesterday I bought my bicycle, but I had been saving up for three years and a month before I bought it. How long had you been saving up before you bought your laptop? I had been saving up uh, money uh, for three months before I bought my laptop. 26, uh, Simon and Julia had been looking after the old and the disabled since January. By the time they got married in August, how long had Julia been singing when she started looking after the needy? Julia had been singing for 10 years when she started looking after the needy. Yes, so altruism uh, is a good human, uh, is a good human behavior, attitude, or uh, trait, quality. Uh, altruism means regard for others, both natural and moral, devotion to the interest of others, brotherly, sisterly, kindness, philanthropy, Charity, generosity, as opposed to egoism or selfishness. Yes, philanthropy and altruism are the same. It's generosity. Being altruistic, being philanthropic, means being generous. Okay. 27A. After they had been traveling for two months. Yes, what happened? After they had been traveling for two months, they settled in the north of the country. Okay, it's clear now. How long had they been planning to settle there? Uh, but uh, they had been planning to settle there for three years. So after they had been traveling for two months, they settled in the north of the country. 28a, I had been mending. Do you see the past, uh, past perfect continuous tense here? It is not, for example, I am mending, I was mending. Okay, it is, I had been mending. I had been mending my car for two hours when you called me yesterday. And we will learn, I will be mending, I will have been mending. Okay, in the following videos, we will also learn the future continues and future perfect continues. Now let's focus, uh, let's concentrate on uh, our subject, uh, which is 
the past perfect continuous tense. Okay, in the past, I had been mending uh, my car for two hours when you called me yesterday. How long had you been painting your motorbike by then? I had been painting my motorbike by uh, 20 minutes when you called me. Now 20, this is the 999th dialogue of Harmony 2, of level 2. Yes, 29A. Nuri had been practicing. Nuri had been practicing, rehearsing since February before joining the judo competition. How long had Sadiq been practicing for the music competition? He had been practicing, okay? He had been practicing for uh, three weeks. Okay. Have you ever practiced singing rock music in your life? Yes, practice doing something as a verb. Okay, practice takes general. Have you ever practiced singing rock music in your life? Yes, I have practiced uh, singing rock music in my life. Uh, now we we go in uh, we go in details with a simple past tenses for example when did you do it uh, how much did you pay for it did you like it were you successful yes something like this now this is the uh, thousands dialogue a the farmer took a break at 10 o'clock the farmer took a break at 10 o'clock because he had been cultivating the field since the morning. Yeah. How long had you and you been cultivating your friendship by the time you went abroad? We had been cultivating our friendship uh, for nine years by the time we went abroad together. Yes, yeah, some friends are like medicine is a good saying. Okay, 31A. Brenda had been sitting in front of her computer for a few minutes when he noticed a stranger at the door. What had the stranger been seeing before he disappeared? Yes, before the stranger uh, disappeared, he had been seeing, uh, see you, see you, see you, see you. Yes. Continuously. 31, 32A. After we had been driving for three hours, we stopped for a recess, for a break. Stopped to have or to take a break. Who had been taking, talking about the latest car models until then? Yasemin had been talking about the latest car models until then. Until we stopped for a recess. 33A, my father had been waiting for a phone call since he returned from work. Had he been waiting for, a, for it anxiously or calmly? But thanks God he had been waiting for it calmly, quietly, not anxiously. Okay. 34A, Daud had been working at the workshop for two hours by 11. Who had been working more attentively or heedfully than Dawood by then? Uh, Furkan had been working more attentively than Dawood by then. 35A. Jahid and I had been discussing about doing something together for about an hour when Kerem entered and made our partnership come true. How long had Kerem been waiting outside? Kerem had been waiting outside for five minutes. 36A, when I got to work, when I went to work, when I got to work at nine, I noticed that some people had been waiting outside since seven o'clock. What did you notice when you got to work last Monday? When I got to work last Monday, I noticed that uh, my father and mother had come, had come to my office. Now time to travel, 37A. 
Yusuf had been traveling from Milano to Rome when Sinan called him yesterday. Yeah, Yusuf, this is, uh, here is Milano, here is Rome, and uh, Yusuf had been traveling from Milano to Rome when Sinan called him between uh, the distance, uh, between the distance, uh, between the distance uh, from Milano, Milano and Rome. Yes, between the distance, um, Milano and Rome. Distance between, yes, the distance between Milano and Rome. Okay. At a point, at a point uh, of the distance between Milano and Rome. What had you been doing when I called yesterday? I had been writing a poem. I had been waiting for my family. I had been uh, listening to music. I had been, uh, when, when you called me yesterday, I had been cooking. I had been drinking tea. I had been uh, writing a report. Something like this. You can make thousands of tons of sentences. Okay, Saima had been eating her meal pleasantly until she realized something. What did she do? What did she do after she had realized something? So after uh, she had realized something, she stopped eating. Okay. Now in past perfect continuous tense, uh, the driver, for example, the driver stopped his vehicle, okay? The driver was about to fall asleep in the past. The driver stopped his vehicle. The driver was about to fall asleep. He was extremely tired. He was yawning. He had been driving all night long. It was not raining then. But why was the ground wet? The ground was wet because it had been raining, okay? It had been raining all night last Monday. Last Monday, the ground was wet. So there is evidence. Although, uh, for example, uh, last Monday at uh, nine o'clock, the ground was wet. Why was the ground, uh, why was the ground wet? It was wet because it had been raining, okay? It had been raining all night long. Although it was not raining at nine o'clock. It is also used in this way. This is an, this is a detail, okay? Yeah, we learned this in this, the simple, uh, in this uh, present perfect uh, continuous tense, for example. The driver, look at the driver. The, the driver has stopped his vehicle. <clears throat> the driver, look at him. It, it's happening now, okay? It's about the present. The driver is about to fall asleep. He's extremely tired. He's yawning. Look at his head. He has, why uh, he is yawning? Why is he extremely tired? Because he has been driving all night long. Okay, and the same thing, although it is not raining now, for example, it is not raining, the ground is wet. Why is the ground wet? The ground is wet because it has been raining all night long. Okay, for the present perfect, and we have, uh, we have studied this, okay, before. Now, what is important? Let's see what is important. Roman number one. Did Peter burn his hand? Did in the past. Did Peter burn his hand while he had been cooking or while he had been ironing? Peter burned his hand while he had been ironing. So continuity is important. Continuity. While he had been ironing. Roman number two, did Peter burn his hand while he was cooking or while he was ironing? 
So he burned, he said, while he was ironing. Here, action is important, okay? Ironing action is important. Not uh, while he was uh, while he was drinking, eating, walking, talking, writing something, but while he was ironing. The action is important here. Okay, the time expression of the past perfect continuous tense is since, for, you can easily guess, just already as they are in the present perfect tense, so in past perfect continuous tense and present perfect continuous tense, we use those expressions. Okay, already, yet, ever, never, after, before, when, by nine, by Monday, by noon, by the time, or till, until. These are important. Now, let's have a quiz like this. Please put the verbs in brackets into the correct past tense form. Okay, correct past tense. Uh, what a nice suit. Uh, when and where did you buy it? So we have learned all the simple past, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous tense. Okay, we finished the past tenses. Okay, are you ready? No, are we ready uh, to check uh, our knowledge? Yes. So let's start from the beginning. What a nice suit. When and where did you buy it? Be well, as you know, I blank look for a suitable suit for some time. What do we say here? As you know, I had been. Why? Because for some time, for some months, for a few months. Yes, I had been looking for a suitable suit for some time. One day, I met Jenner. While we, yes, now action is important. While we were talking on clothes, he told me, yeah, he told me that a new department store by a person from their neighborhood a new department store had been open because he told me telling something and op being open, okay? So he told me that a new department store had been opened by a person from their neighborhood. So we went there and I bought this suit. The best thing about it, the best thing about it, Blank was, yes, the best thing about it was that it cost me, cost, 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 all three forms are the same. It cost me only 200 liras in five installments. Was it crowded? Yes, it was more crowded than we had expected. It's past perfect. Yes, it was more crowded than we had expected. This is the key. Okay. I had been. Okay. I had been looking for. And Janelle, we were talking. Yes. While we were talking, he told me had been opened. Yes. And the best thing it was, there was, yes, than we had expected. It was more crowded than we had expected than being crowded but an expectation is before being crowded okay now uh, now fill in the gaps with just since okay since or for or ego ego just until already yet before or still now one the little child didn't smile and speak like his parents had arrived. So uh, the little child, the little child didn't smile and speak until until his parents had arrived. Yes. 
After his parents had arrived, the little child smiled and spoke. We can make, we can change it. We can give the same message uh, with after. Okay. Orhan Bey had wanted to have a villa in Balum. Blank, he moved to Ankara 17 years blank. So, Orhan Bey had wanted, was perfect, to have a villa in Balum before he moved to Ankara 17 years ago. Three, Nesrenum had blank painted the walls of the living room so the paint had dried, so the paint had dried, paint the walls of the living room, so the paint had dried. On the other hand, he had blank cooked the meal, so they were blank hot when her husband arrived home. Let's see it from the key. Uh, Nesrenum had already painted the walls of the living room. So uh, there is there must be a comma here. Sorry. Room. Yes, as a result. Okay, so as a result. So the paint uh, had dried. So the paint had dried. Okay. On the other hand, she had just cooked the meals. So they were still hot. He had just cooked the meals. So they were still hot when her husband arrived home. For after Onur had had a shower, he put on his new suit. Okay. So first he had a he had a shower. Then uh, he uh, put on his new suit after Onur had had a shower. Okay. Five. Onur had had a shower before he put on his new suit. Okay. Nesiba Hanım had been doing, had been doing the housework since the morning. She hasn't had a chance to go shopping yet. Yes, connected with the present. Nesiba Hanım has been doing the housework since the morning. She hasn't had a chance to go shopping yet. She is still busy with doing the housework. Okay, our routine, normal quiz, uh, tour five, trip six. Okay, please choose the correct alternative. Question one, Sally blank to Simon for a long time. You see, since they had a terrible argument, uh, Sally blank to Simon for a long time, you see, since they, since they had a, a terrible argument, so past, we need a past perfect tense. Sally hadn't spoken, hadn't spoken to Simon for a long time. You see, uh, since they had a terrible argument. Okay. Jakub Blank uh, surfing the net since he came in that room. Okay. So Jakub had been, where is had been? So sorry, Jakub surfing the net since he came in that room. Yeah, has been. Uh, but uh, yes, Jakub has been surfing the net since she, he came in that room. Because there is this, we cannot use was surfing here. Okay. Or is surfing. Or will be surfing. We have to use has been. Jakub has been surf, surfing. We blank English since September. So yes, this is really true. We have been learning. We have been learning English since September. Okay. The students blank their books when the teacher entered the classroom. When the teacher entered the classroom, the students had bowed. Yes. Before teachers coming to the classroom, the students had bought their books. The last one, the younger traveler blank for three years, almost all over the world, before he settled in Marmaris. So settled is past. We have to use had been traveling. Uh, the young traveler had been traveling for three years, almost all over the world, before he settled in Marmaris.
Okay, now vocabulary, study. Now, opt out of, opt out of as a phrasal verb, choose not to participate in something. Yes, opt out of, opt out of. Uh, opt for means prefer, choose, but opt out of means the opposite of it. Betty decided to opt out of the nursing program. Which program did she decide to opt for? She decided, she decided to opt for uh, communication program. Hmm. Okay, synchronize. What does it mean? The dictionary says that cause to happen, synchronize, means cause to happen at the same time, or synchronize, or harmonize, or coordinate, or match. For example, Hollis has to design the presentation in a way that music will harmonize with and synchronize with the pictures. What else will have to uh, synchronize with the pictures? Uh, the color will have to synchronize with the picture. Literally and literally, they are confusing, yes. Literally, literally. Literature means, you know, literature connected with literature, but this is literary. Literary means relating to writers or the profession of literature, literary. L uh, literally means word for word in a literal manner, accurately, actually, exactly, precisely, totally, not in a uh, figurative way, okay? Not in a metaphorical way, literally. Literally, not in a metaphorical way, okay? It's yeah, a little confusing. Literary means connecting, uh, connect, uh, connected with uh, literature, yes. Connected with literature, writers. Okay, okay. Uh, A, Sedat has got an ordinary speech. Sedat has got an ordinary speech. Has Mahmud got an ordinary or literary speech? So Mahmud has got a literary, literary speech. He is like a teacher of literature, for example. He is, Mahmud is like a writer. So Mahmud has got, Mahmud has got a literary, literary speech. Has Sedat or Mahmud got a style of writing which is used in literature? So Mahmud has got Mahmud has got a style of writing which is used in literature. Literature. Okay. Apply for. What does it mean? As a phrasal verb, apply for or verb with preposition. Preposition. Apply for means make an application for something, for a job, for example. Make a request for. How it is applied for a grant from the government for his higher education? Who has been getting a grant from a foundation? Yasin has been, has already been getting a grant from a foundation. He uh, had applied. Uh, Yasin had applied for the grant uh, before Halit applied. Okay. okay, be caught in means be trapped in, okay? Uh, be trapped, these are passive structures. Be caught in means be trapped in, ensnared in, again, be ensnared in. Uh, catch someone in the act. Yes, catch someone in the act. For example, Bill was caught in a rainstorm. Yeah, Bill was caught in a rainstorm yesterday. When were the doctors caught in the crossfire? Uh, unfortunately, they, they were caught in the crossfire uh, when they were examining the soldiers. 
who got caught in an argument, who got caught in an argument, uh, Cemil, Cemil and Davut uh, got caught in an argument. Combine, what does it mean as a word? If you combine two or more different things, or if they combine, they begin to exist or work together. So they coexist. Yasin managed to combine the knowledge with beauty. Who managed to combine behavior and beauty very well? Ihsan managed to combine behavior and beauty very well. Yes, thank you for uh, watching and listening uh, to this lesson. So uh, have a good day and see you next time.